Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're on the wishlist account and we are looking at what is going on guys. So on the wishlist account, I went through the Mystic Star Zone. I also did it on um, the YouTube account. But right here, thank you for all your participating in the first round of the Mystic Star Zone. Um, now we know over all this event, a lot of positive feedback, a lot of negative feedback. We received all the feedback again from Reddit, from Discord, a lot of other places. And we know about future optimizations, which the game mode took a lot of time guys. If you were saying when you took a, a node, um, you got it for 15 minutes, usually after 15 minutes, you got kicked out of there. Once you got kicked out of there, you had to log back into AFK Arena to take another node to get another 15 minutes. And you had a very short window to do that, that 24 hour period that you could actually farm a node for three hours. So in addition, guys, they gave us 10 premium chests as a gift. Now, with that being said, I know there are a lot of players that are kind of upset with the event overall and with the rewards that we got out of here um, for the simple fact that looking at the rewards, um, we got 120 chests, we got 19 premium chests. Now, looking at this, guys, with the premium chest, you have to have 20. That is right, guys. You have to have 20 of your hero shards, which we're going to get into, guys. Now, overall, there's been a um, a survey that was up over on Reddit. Now, out of about 1,500 people, I think it was like 70 that said that they did get the chest, which did yield them an awakened hero, which means we are far, far, way far below um, the 1% that we were hoping it would be. So let's go ahead and open these guys and see exactly what we get. Now the chest that we were talking about, and a lot of players said they did not get time emblems either, but this is the chest that we are talking about. So the hero fragment choice chest, which of course does contain the last six awakened heroes in there. Um, overall, you got to have 20 of these to make it worth to get those 60 shards. So even looking right here, guys, we got one, two, three out of there. And of course, got some pretty good time, time uh, cards right there. This gives us what? Two, three, four, five... So we have six, so I, I think that was six, um, but we did get 15 time emblems, which I'm not too upset about. And of course it shows right up here, we got the time emblems, but a lot of players are looking for the red chest out of here, which again, I haven't seen any. Most of the players that were over on the test server, it was the exact same, is we did not see any of the red chest, meaning that we did get one of those heroes itself. Now overall guys, a Pretty considerable amount of loot when you think of the number of chests, but I think if they would have up, upgraded it or updated it a little bit when it came to those red chests we get out of here, that does contain the Awakened Heroes because it looks like, guys, we're getting close to not getting one. I also want to hop over the YouTube account. We want to do this exact same and see exactly what we get out of here. So again, we are shut out with the rewards. We do not get any of our Awakened Hero chests, but looking here, guys, and again, a lot of players. So I got seven of these. So we need another 13 of these to even have a chance at a hero, which means hopefully the next two iterations that we have of this, we can actually get to that 21. Now, overall, I believe we were in first, if I remember, um, which that's actually a good question. But I know for a majority of the event, we were in first place. I wonder where the review story. So I was in... Um, the bumbling baboon so we were actually right here in the first so we did end up in first place which was awesome um made a lot of progression really early it really helped a lot but overall right there guys that is where we ended within here so we did get the two bonus chests which a lot of players would not get but overall looking there guys we did get seven of those chests again you have to have 20 of these to get one single copy so it seems like there might be a lot more viability to getting these than we're actually getting for the other one. So let's hop over to the FHG account, guys. Pick these up and see if we do any better. All right, guys, so hopping over to this account, let's go ahead and see if we can do any better with the chest that we do get out of there. So hopping in the star zone, let's go ahead and collect up these rewards. And there we go, guys. So we got 20 chests in here. We have 130 of our regular ones. Hopefully, you can see right up there, guys, um, time emblems, time emblems, stargazer scrolls. Uh, time emblems. But again, I'm not seeing any of those chests. I'm not seeing anything else um, short of those time emblems. So let's see what we can do in here, guys. So the first 10 gives us what? One, two, three, four. We got five out of there. So pretty good. But you can see no time emblems. Second chest is going to yield us six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We did get time emblems and stargazer scrolls. So we got 10. So we are 50% to an awakened copy of a hero. And then of course we did get a couple scrolls right there, um, but that gives us 50% towards the next hero. 
um, which a lot of players were also questioning is if they don't get those 20, um, if they don't get 20 of the premium chests in here and they don't have the ability to build the heroes, are there going to be future ways to build out the heroes by getting more of those premium chests? At this point, guys, we do not know. I don't know if there's gonna be anything that they're actually gonna add in there um, to continue to build out those, those shard fragments that you have of those awakened heroes as we continue. Looking in here, guys, let's see if we can get some chests in here. Now, just some resources right there. Still waiting to see. Hopefully, we can see one of those chests, guys. But again, I, I was hearing and getting a lot of feedback from different players that the ability to see, so like, this is the chest that we're looking for, guys, um, is literally almost zero. Like I said, some players on Reddit said they did receive um, one of those chests. And I'm just wondering, looking here, because even if, I mean, what do we have, 120 chests? Even at 1%, after the 100, you should get one, um, theoretically or mathematically. So it has to be far below that 1%. Now, overall, guys, looking at getting the poke coins, getting the baits, um, I'm pretty happy with it, getting the shards. Um, some of them, like the just the regular basic loot, like picking up some of the essence or even some of the gold um, really doesn't make a difference. So unfortunately in there, we did not get any shards either or any of those chests. So we did get 10 of these, but we did not get the opportunity to pull any of the chests, just the straight up awakened hero chests out of there, which is pretty sad. But overall, I mean, we got some pretty decent loot. Seven chests here, six right here, 24. So overall the loot, pretty good. Let's pop these open guys. So right here is 2,300, we got some EXP, we got some gold. And I'm thinking even players that are, um, that that don't have, 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 haven't been playing AFK Arena for such an incredible amount of time, um, could be pretty bene beneficial for what you got in there. Now we did get some time emblems, we did get some more Stargazer Scrolls in there. And overall looking at the baits, because we used all of our baits on Sunday, 485. So I think a lot of those probably came out of the event. I'm not sure. I think I might have bought some um, out of what we have with the Magician's Hat right now, but 485 baits is what we're up to, guys. Now, we just used these on Sunday. So literally, we just cashed in all of our baits. We used all of our baits yesterday um, during our live stream. And then, of course, we're already at 485 again, trying to get all of these beasts up to level 18 at this point. So guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the event. Um, again, AFK Arena in Lilith is really, really big on taking all of our feedback, making sure that you're going in here. Um, I, I want to see the changes. I want to see the, the adjustments um, and how they're going to change this, if they're going to change up some of the probabilities in some of the reward chest, if we're going to see these, you know, a little bit different, if they're going to keep them the same in the game mode, if we're going to have the opportunity to be able to choose what we rewards we want, which I know most people, again, are going to pick exactly the Awakened Heroes every single time. But even if they made, let's say, a third chest that, you know, if you completed, let's say, all of your personal quests, that it gave you one free copy of your choice of the Awakened Hero, even if it was the first season, guys, I would still be okay with it, just for the simple fact that the first um, version of Awakened Heroes have always been used and continue to still be used. But all right, guys, so we got some pretty decent loot in there. Overall, the the amount of loot was pretty good. The quality of loot, the abundant resources, I'm um, not really too high. And then of course, we only got 50% of a hero on this one, and we got about 35% of the hero on that wish list account. So again, guys, that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and as always, thank you guys for watching.